All right, uh, so this week we will talk about the SQL, so the Structured Query Language. Uh, so this week it's it's a little bit challenging, I would say. Um, so we will ha watch a series of videos, so I will talk the basics of the SQL. And um, if you had intern or if you uh, have heard that one, so SQL is actually pretty important uh, in data science. Uh, so if you want uh, query data and also if you want to manipulate, manipulate the relational database, you have to understand SQL. And we're going to spend this week that talks talk the basics of the SQL. And we'll try some examples with the data that we uh, have created from last week. So remember that uh, last week we have four tables. Uh, so we'll cover the basics. Um, um, and also, we don't have a video for the lab, so the lecture are very, very important. So make sure that you follow in the lecture videos. And when I was um, talking, introducing the SQL, so I will also give you some demos. So make sure that you follow those demos and try those demos on your data set. And we don't have video that's specific for the lab only. Uh, and also the lab is a little bit challenging, I would say. Uh, so I will pr I will not answer any questions about how to write SQL directly uh, in the in this week. So uh, instead, I would encourage you to post your questions on the Slack channel, and also discuss with a classmate on the Slack channel, uh, the lab channel. Okay, so feel free to talk with each other that how uh, you want to resolve the issues. And I will post the right answers uh, on Thursday. Okay, so hopefully you can try the lab, you can finish the videos and also you can try the labs before Thursday. And then I will post the answers to the lab on Thursday on Slack channel. Okay, again, so SQL is very important, uh, but we will spend this week uh, and also next week we will we will cover the something similar, but we'll do that one in Python. So we will cover the basics, um, and also those uh, basic are from this tutorial. So you can see that in the website posterior circle tutorial. So uh, if you want uh, dive deep into SQL, and I highly recommend to check this website. Uh, so uh, it is free, um, and so yeah. So we will spend just two weeks. Again, SQL is very important. Um, however, the reason that I just want to spend two weeks is because I want to spend more time on data lakes and also relate on uh, and also data warehouse, where you can see that we are going to use SQL SQL again, and then we will talk about the non-relational database. Uh, especially MongoDB, so you'll see a different type of a query language. So SQL, SQL is is the most important one, but it's not the only one. Uh, and also in the next semester, when we introduce Tableau, so you will see that how you can use Tableau to analyze the data, which is similar by using SQL. Uh, it might be less efficient in Tableau, but it is easier and also it's more intuitive. Okay, um, so SQL is a standard language, so it's like Python, Java, etc. So uh, to manipulate relational database. Uh, so basically, once you learn the basics of SQL, so you can apply SQL to any type of the relational database. So it can be MySQL, PostgreSQL, Access, or any other uh, popular relational database. However, there are minor differences uh, depending on the relational database you are using. So very, very tiny differences, so which you can almost ignore. So <laughs> well, there are tiny differences, but when you are using that specific relational database, I think if you just Google it and you are, that's, that's very easy to be resolved. And again, so uh, this is a tutorial that I highly recommend. Um, so after this class, if you want to continue learning more about the relational database, uh, you can still using the database that we have, and also you can try the 
the tutorial here from this website. So again, highly recommend. Okay, uh, so what SQL can do? Uh, so basically, SQL can query the data. So it has a select statement. So you can query the data by selecting records from specific tables uh, where some spe specific criteria are met. So for example, you don't want uh, to see the entire records. You may just want to see uh, some spe specific records. So SQL is great in doing that. You can also update record, delete record, and also insert record. OK, so you can also manage your data. So uh, insert records into tables. Uh, so instead of working on the tables, you can also create tables, create views, create indexes, create databases, users, and more. So basically, what we have done so far manually, uh, we can do that one by using SQL so that you can write SQL and also do all the jobs that we have done so far. OK, so it is very, very powerful. OK, uh, so let's say we want to query the data. So the, to query the data, uh, the statement is called select. OK, uh, so we need select. And here, this is a syntax. So it says select. And then you will define, OK, so which column do you want to select? So you can select the, uh, the specific column by calling their names. Or you can select star. OK, so that will give you all the columns. OK, so all columns. And then you have to tell from which data resource. So you have to tell the table names. And pay attention that you, we use comma to separate all the columns. And also for the last column, there's no comma. OK, for the last column, there's no comma. And then you have to tell from which table. OK, so the basic syntax is that you have to tell the schema. C. OK, schema and also dot and also your table name. OK, uh, because now we are organizing the we all are not organizing the tables in different schema. So schema can, can see like folders in database. So schema dot table name. So that is the best practice. OK, uh, we can also order the result by using the order by uh, statement. So that following the select. So for example, here we can see okay, you can select specific columns from which table order by and you can see order by which column, by the value of which column. And you can tell is that descending or ascending. So ASC stands for the ascending. And DESC stands for descending. OK, ascending and also descending. OK, uh, so we're going to see uh, two examples here. OK. Um, so the first example is that we're going to select everything from. So here I'm using the uh, demo schema. So because all my tables are, I'm using a demo user. So all my tables are stored in the demo schema from select everything from professor. And then if I run this SQL statement, and that is the result that I will have. Because I select star, so that means I will get all the columns. So instead of calling the specific column, so I will get all the columns. And here you can see now I specify the specific columns in this select statement. And the table is in the public uh, schema. So everything, all of us will have access to this public schema. So public dot house price. And here I'm using this order uh, statement. So I was order by built in records, the value of the built in. And specifically, I'm using ascending. So ascending, so right now you can see that the result returned the house type, built in, and also price. So the only three columns. And also you can see the records are sorted based on the built in record. And that is following this ascending uh, orders. OK, so the smallest one is this one. And also uh, the big one will be next. 
Okay, uh, so let's see some example. So here you can see um, I'm not logged into my demo account. So as I said, we have multiple um, uh, schemas. So the demo is uh, public to my demo user. So if you are if you are using GP1, then you go to GP1, and also you can call the schema name is GP1. And we all have the right access to this public host price table. So that's a table that I just created. So if you see all the rows, and so you should be able to see the host table. So you can see it has ID, price, bedroom, bathroom, number of bedroom, bathrooms, host type, that is character, and lot size, year of house being built, area, so size of the house, number of days, and also number of views that the house at um, online. And also in my demo, I have those five tables. So this is from lab one, and all the other four tables are from lab two. Okay. Uh, so if I look at my professor table, and you can see I, I only have one record. Okay. So you should have. I think at least four records. Okay, so here I only have uh, one record. Okay, uh, so I wish you are ready right now. So I'm going to show you that how we can run the SQL uh, in the PG admin. Uh, so if you are using the other uh, SQL editors, I think they have the similar interface where you just find out where you can run the queries. Okay, uh, so to do that in PG Admin, you can click the tools and you can see the query tool. Okay, so if I open the query tool, okay, uh, so here you can see the query editor, and also in the history, you can see all the queries that I made. So when I was preparing this lecture and also the labs, okay, um, so in this query editor, so let me try the first. Um, my first statement, so I say I want select. You can see select is a, uh, is a keyword, so that has different color. So here I want select all the columns from. Uh, so here I want from the professor table. Okay, so professor table. And if you look at the other, you can see we have multiple professor tables. Okay, um, so GP1 does not have the professor table yet. Okay, uh, um, but you cannot view their tables. So if you see, if you want to view the right rows, okay, you get this uh, permission denied unless you are the user of GP1. Okay, so you cannot view the other tables. Uh, so here, if I say I want to select everything from professor, so in case there are multiple professor tables. So the best practice is tell which schema you are talking about. So again, my schema is demo here, so which is defined uh, by me. So I call demo dot professor, and now you can see the professor is in red, in blue color. So that stands for a table name. And if I run this one, okay. So basically, it gave me the same result. Uh, if I say I just uh go to my professor table and if you see view it and actually you can see it also select start from my professor but they are using uh, assign the order based on the email so that is default view okay uh, so let's go back to my um, editor so you can say I select everything from uh, demo.professor so if I want to select everything from the house price so remember that we all have access to the schema and we have access to the house price table. Uh, you can only query the house price. You cannot change data within the house price. So that is public dot house price. So here I want to see all the records from this house price. So I see I run it. And now you can see you will see all the records that from the house price. Okay, so that is basically a similar as when you just right click and you see you view the all the rows and it will return all the same result. 
OK, uh, so we can also specify uh, what columns we want to use. See here, I want Slack. Uh, by the way, SQL will ignore all the white spaces, so you can put that into multiple uh, rows uh, so that we are e easier for you to review your understand your SQL code. So here I put that into two rows and I say I want house type comma so that will separate all the columns year of the house that been built in comma and also i want the price remember for the last column you don't need comma okay uh, from uh, this table and now if i run it you can see i only see um, those three columns that i specified in this select statement and then I can also define the order. I say I want order by, you can see those are purple or in different colors. That means those are the keywords. And I say I want order by the year that has been built. So built in. And you have to tell is that in the descending order or ascending order. So descending is ASC. You can see that is Ascending is ASC, so ascending is ASC. You can see they are all stored in the ascending order. And descending order is DESC. Okay, DESC. Okay, so descending order. Okay, uh, so this is a very simple uh, introduction of the SQL so that how we can um, query the table, so how we can find out the editor and also. Um, how we can select tables by by specifying the schema and also house price and also the select statement and also the order by statement okay so make sure you try those when you are watching this video again we don't have video for the lab so the lab is all on you it's all on you so but the lectures will help you to finish the lab